Hello there and welcome to episode four of the year six to year seven tra transition videos. My name is Mr. Hallam and I'm the head of year seven. Now this is the fourth and final video uh, that we are doing as part of our transition, but I'm gonna be going over what our virtual transition is gonna be like at the end of the video. So in this week's episode, I'm gonna be discussing the following areas, session six activities, smart cards, wise pay, the Sims parent app, virtual transition, and I'm gonna be introducing the three final tutor profiles for you so you get to know all the members of the year seven tutor team. The first area I'm going to discuss are our session six activities, or what is known as our extracurricular activities and clubs available at school. So at Corbis Academy, we are ambitious and we want students to explore beyond the classroom. So we want to look at how ambitious they're going to be in their own individual learning. So building upon our broad and balanced curriculum, we aim to offer a wide range of clubs and activities which students can choose to be join and be a part of. At Corbis Academy, you will be able to take part in a variety of different clubs after taking place after school. So, for example, on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, we're going to cater for all sorts of activities and interests, such as the Bake Off, Astronomy Club, Computer Coding, Math Challenge and many more, including obviously our physical education activities and our sports teams. Now, to take part in a session six, you must sign up and more t details of this will be announced in due course when you join us in September. Session six activities will take place on, on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday and there'll be a bus that a late bus available at four o'clock. Now there is a late bus available on Friday, but this is only available for those attending an after school detention on that Friday. Now the next day I'm going to discuss is something that's really important, which is your smart card. So your smart card is used for many things. So it's used to potentially help you register when you come into the school, um, into the school building, as it can be used to uh, move the barriers, or it could be used to purchase meals from the restaurant, or print off work on the printer, or borrow books from the school library. It's pretty much used every single day, and therefore you really you do need to bring it with you. For example, if you're going down to the restaurant and want to purchase food you would need to have money on your card. And I'm gonna explain what that means in a second. So we will issue you your first card because we'll be taking your photo on your first two days of joining us. And if you were to lose your card, it would be a five pound per, car, uh, per card to be replaced, which can be ordered via WisePay, which again, I'm gonna discuss shortly. So just make sure, I do recommend if you can uh, have a lanyard which you can slot that card into, which you hang around your neck. It's extremely useful because you know it's always going to be in one place. Next area to discuss. So as I said, I'm going to discuss WisePay, which is our electronic payment system. So we operate a cashless academy, so we don't want students bringing cash or, or money into the school just so it's um, in a safe environment. So any money that goes missing is always their responsibility. So if you are to be paying for or sort of parents of care is going to be paying for any catering, so restaurant uh, food, uh, any school trips, replacement smart cards, calculators revision guides music tuition this is all operated through the online system known as WisePay. this system offers parents and carers um, a way to save time 
to deal with money matters in a secure way and prevent students from handling cash in the academy. As I said, there's a tendency this can get lost from time to time. So effectively a personal account for each student is generated and the catering section of the system allows parents and carers the facility to view what their child has been eating from the restaurant. So it's really good if you're monitoring anything that you don't want them eating at the time um, that you can give a, a really good overview of that. It also gives you an idea of what sort of um, how much certain items cost on the school menu. Now, if you have any queries regarding the WisePay system or you're having struggle, struggle uh, logging in or accessing your account, please contact the finance team um, or the, in the finance office at finance at corebusinessacademy.org. The next section is what we've been doing in our transition um, information so far. So what have we been doing to help get students ready? So a team of staff from the academy have been walking, uh, visiting and talking with both students and teachers at our feeder primary schools. This has been going on for the past few weeks. And we've been amazed by how enthusiastic you all have been during your, our visits and asking lots of really good and interesting questions. It's also been lovely to find out lots of key information about each of you from your teachers, which is really going to help you make the best start with us in September. We've also launched our student views. So if you want to find out what it's like from a individual student, um, one that you, uh, so a student who's currently in year seven, there have been some letters written. Um, so you can go back, read through them, see what they experienced, what sort of things to look forward to and why yes, nerves are there, but it's OK to be nervous and you're going to do absolutely fine. Now, with regards to the tutor group information, just a reminder. So on Friday, the 9th of July, you will receive an email which details which tutor group your child has been placed into. Now, we have been placing students into one of seven tutor groups and where possible, we've obviously used that student questionnaire that was completed to put you in a tutor group with at least one of your friends that you mentioned on that questionnaire. Now you'll be placed into one of seven, so that will either be 7A, 7B, 7C, 7D, 7E, 7F or 7G. OK, uh, once you're in those tutor groups, um, you'll you'll find out, which I'm going to discuss in a minute, about what that will mean for the virtual transition day. OK, so make sure you make a note of those letters. So then when it comes around to being introduced, you have to match that up with the tutor that you will, will be seeing on your first day. Now, before I talk about virtual transition, um, I want to talk about a really important app that we uh, are encouraging all parents to, and carers to download, which is the Sims Parent app. Now, this is extremely important. So um, we have a management information in, system in school, which uh, we use in school to monitor like behavior, attendance, um, SCN needs, uh, pupil premium, everything that we need to know about every student, all their contact details is all in one place. And this links with Office 365 and as a result allows us to send regular communications through the Sims Parent app, including any upcoming events um, so you're aware of them and any important um, communications such as letters about other things taking place in the academy. You will also be able to make any changes, so you'll be able to um, check on anything that is uh, about you or your child to make sure it's all correct, and you have the correct permissions, so we know exactly who we need to send information to. You will also be able to view any academic reports, behaviour reports, and attendance information. So anything you've got concerns about, whether a certain subject that a student is falling behind in, you'll be able to find out very quickly which teacher you would need to contact. Obviously, as an academy, we try to avoid posting lots of letters home um, where possible just to reduce unnecessary printing costs, but also most importantly, to reduce that environmental impact. It's far easier to send things electronically these days. If you do prefer to receive um, non-electronic communication, you must specify that in the, in, the, in, the, um, in the forms you filled in at the start of the transition process. Now, due to uh, COVID-19 restrictions placed on the academy, we've had to change our transition day 
Um, usually we would, would, would invite all students from all our feeder schools in to experience school, uh, time in Corbus Academy for the first time. Um, you'd usually meet your tutor group and all the members of your tutor group you're going to have. You would also meet your tutor and the rest of the Year 7 team and experiencing some of those secondary school lessons just so you get an idea of what it's going to be like. And really it's just getting a feel of the building um, and understanding how to move around it. But obviously sadly due to restrictions still placed upon schools and movements and risk assessments, we've been unable to deliver our full transition day. So we're moving our transition day to one that is virtual and our virtual transition day is going to be split into some really important areas for you to look forward to and to look out for online. So there will be a, a special transition video delivered by myself, the head of year seven, and I'm going to give you a tour of the first part of the building that you will enter on your first day, just so you've got a really good idea of where you need to go as soon as you arrive. I'm also going to be introducing your tutors. So whichever tutor group you are in, um, I'll introduce them through from 7A through to 7G and they'll get to uh, just say hello, just so you know who to look out for on your first day. There's also going to be some virtual lessons being provided by each subject in the school. Now, these are going to be split into two blocks and we would like all students to work through one lesson from block A and another from block B. Then once you've completed these lessons, you're going to be, have the opportunity to send some feedback to just to say how you found the lesson. What did you enjoy? What did you find difficult? Um, is it one of your favourite subjects? Is it not one of your favourite subjects? Have you challenged yourself? There will also be a personal profile sheet for you to fill in where you get to tell us a little bit about yourself, such as your personal interests and hobbies and what sort of subjects you may enjoy. Just so we get to go a little bit more about you and what you're looking forward to in when you join secondary school in September. For those unable to access virtual lessons, we will make a subject work pack available via primary schools and the academy website. These work packs support students with a transition from primary school to and to work and being completed in secondary school. Now, if you um, can access both electronic and uh, the paper versions, you're more than welcome to as well. OK, I've got three members of staff to introduce, so three final members of our Year 7 tutor team. And the first of those is Mr jo Joseph, who is the head of geography. Now, he's really looking forward to welcoming what he believes will be the best tutor group in the world. Very confident start. I look for he looks forward to meeting you and helping to support you in your first year at secondary school. Everyone in the tutor group will be need to be a team player and to be ready to support each other in all aspects of academy life. And Mr. Joseph will do his best to make sure that he's there for you and to make this happen. He is the head of geography and he knows that it's going to become your favourite subject. A little bit about Mr. Joseph. He enjoys rugby, cricket, football and skiing. He dislikes losing, if you couldn't tell from his introduction. His favourite colour is blue. He, is, uh, he enjoys running, playing cricket and skiing. His hero is the England bowler, James Anderson. Um, his favourite food is steak. His favourite restaurant, though, is a Pizza Express. And he li he's, like I said, his, he really enjoys rugby, cricket, football and skiing, very much like myself. Um, his three top tips for starting secondary school. So be ready to work as a team and support one another. Be ready to work hard and showcase just how brilliant you all are. And always talk to a teacher if you need help and you're struggling with something. They're always there to help. Now, if you need to find Mr. Joseph throughout the day, he's located in, near the BHE office uh, next to the staircase in BHE, which we'll, we'll, you'll be able to see on the tour and in his classroom in BL5. The next member of staff is Miss O'Brien, who is the head of biology, so part of our science team. And she's really looking forward to meeting everybody. And she knows you're going to have a fantastic time at Coy Business Academy. Miss O'Brien has been a science teacher who specializes in, um, in biology, as I said, but I'm sure she's more than capable in chemistry and physics as well. So if you need any support and help, please go and find Mr. O'Brien 
She says she's more than happy to help with any questions or support that you need. A little bit about Miss O'Brien. She enjoys watching TV. She dislikes cheese and rudeness. Her favourite colour is also blue. Her hobby is going to the theatre, reading and going to concerts. Her hero is Rosalind Franklin. Her favourite food is chocolate. Her favourite restaurant is the Beckworth Emporium. And a fun fact is that she's actually taught a former student from a previous uh, school who went on to compete in the London 2012 Olympics. Miss O'Brien's three top tips are make sure you always have a spare pen and pencil. If you're unsure about anything, ask somebody. And most importantly, to enjoy it. Uh, if you need to speak to Miss O'Brien throughout the day or any point during the week, you'll find her in the PNS faculty, which is our main science faculty, or obviously in your tutor room at tutor time. And the final member of staff is Mrs. Ireland, who is one of our fantastic teachers of Spanish. And she's really looking forward to meeting you all and, have, and she knows you're all going to have a great time at CBA. As I've said, Miss Ireland is a Spanish teacher and has been teaching at the academy for two years. If you have any problems, please go and find Miss O'Brien and any problems or worries and she's here to support you. A little bit about Miss Ireland is she is a, obviously enjoys her languages, traveling, reading and gardening. She dislikes rudeness and avocados. Her favourite colour though is green, her hobby is working in the garden, her hero is her best friend, favourite food is lasagna and favourite restaurant is any Italian restaurant. Her likes, as I've said, are languages, travelling, reading and gardening. Her three top tips are be prepared to learn and try your best in every lesson. Make sure you are fully equipped at all times and be kind to everybody. If you need to find Miss Ireland at any time, make sure you find her in the BHE office downstairs opposite the sixth form room or in the tutor room at tutor time. So that completes our fourth and final episode of the um, transition videos. But as I've said, there's going to be a special video for as part of our virtual transition. Now, if you have any questions regarding the transition process, obviously, please go back and check any of the previous videos or newsletters. But if you've still got any questions, please use the email address year seven admissions at corvusacademy.org and somebody will respond to any query that you have. So again, thank you for listening. I look forward to chatting with you on our virtual transition day. And of course, I look forward to meeting every single one of you on that first day in September. Thank you and see you soon.